Hi, everybody. Good morning. It is time to imagine it. We're at the Imagination Station, and it is Super Bowl weekend. Tomorrow's Super Bowl Sunday. So what are we doing today, Carl? We're going to work with some liquid nitrogen. Your and favorite. we're going to do one of our classic demonstrations, um, sort of a celebration for Super Bowl Sunday. I had a visitor come up to me the other day and said, hey, do you guys do that ball thing inside the building? <laughs> and I said, what? What are you talking about? You know yeah. that thing where the balls explode up in the air? It's like, you know, we haven't done it inside for a while, but if you watch on the weekend, I'm going to do it for you. Ooh, okay. So if that, if that guy's out there watching, we're doing this now. So, right, so put your first. safety glasses yeah, on. Yeah. Liquid right. nitrogen, okay, 320 degrees below zero. It's very, very cold. It's always boiling. So what that means is, even though it's very cold, it's always changing from a liquid to a gas. So you look at the test tube, you can see it's bubbling and boiling. Mm -hmm. And we could actually capture some of that gas inside a balloon. Okay. Okay, because it's going from a liquid to a gas. Now, when that liquid expands into a gas, it takes up about 800 times more volume than that. So if you can multiply this volume by 800, that's how much gas we would wow. get. Wow, math was never my strong suit, Carl. So, all right. Or, you know, we could just put it all inside the balloon and watch what happens as... Oh, man, I don't like to watch what happens. Oh, oh, oh it's okay. It, okay. So, it's just gonna get bigger and bigger, but also the nitrogen is making the bottom of the balloon very, very brittle. Okay. And so at some point, we're probably gonna have more more nitrogen yeah. in there than it can hold. Okay. And so the reason I did that though is because we're gonna do that again, but this time we're gonna do it with a two liter bottle. Oh boy, okay. So the two liter bottle is gonna be our vessel that we put the liquid nitrogen in. Okay. And this bottle can withstand about 300 PSI of pressure before it ruptures. So clearly the plastic is stronger, I guess maybe, I don't know if that's the right word, than the, the latex from the balloon. Well. A couple things. One, it's not going to stretch like the latex from the sure. balloon. Okay. It is going to get very brittle like the latex from the balloon okay. because the nitrogen, liquid nitrogen, is 320 degrees below zero. So a couple things are happening. The bottle's getting brittle. Okay. We are changing that liquid nitrogen into a gas. It's mm -hmm. taking up more space. And because we're going to seal this up. Oh, okay. That's the key. Kind of like when you capped the test tube with the balloon. We're, we're going to build up pressure inside. Okay. So in this garbage can, a little bit of water. The water is going to help the nitrogen speed up that change of state from okay. liquid to a gas. To make this fun, we're going to th you are going to throw those play balls on top. Okay. And if I remember correctly, I don't throw them in one by one. This no, no, needs no, no, no. This to be a quick transaction. I'm going to cap this okay. deliberately. You're going to pick that up okay. while I'm capping. And then when I drop this in, you pour all the balls into the bucket. Okay. All Sounds right. good. So I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. Get ready. Okay. I'm going to get make sure I get this threaded on. We're going to seal it up. Okay. I'm going to drop it in the water, and I'll just pour those in. And now, okay. come on over here, okay. maybe a little bit. All right. You can kind of hear it crinkling inside. Uh-huh. Yep, you, you can sure try, can. Try, try. Woo! I was going to say, you can try to do a countdown. Wow. But we totally missed it. Now, okay, you're going wild because all the balls shot up in the air. Whew. What's even cooler, I think, is if you have, like, a DVR at home, if you can replay that, uh -huh. that drum jumped off the ground by a couple feet. And I'll tell you, you could actually feel, I felt the boom. Now, you couldn't just hear it, but I felt it almost in my you, chest. You can absolutely feel it. Wow. <laughs> so we call this the ball plosion. Okay. We do it um, at all sorts of events and stuff. It's really nice demonstration. It changes states, uh, Newton's laws of motion, and especially, I love the garbage can. You got to replay that and watch how it bounces up because the force of the exploding bottle is not only going up, it's going down. It's causing the bottom of the barrel to bow. The bowing oh. causes the thing to jump off the ground. And I'll tell you, a few of the <laughs> balls here looks like they've deflated. And even what was left of the two-liter bottle, yeah. look at that. Look at that. Wow, so, bottom blown off. Cap still intact. Cap still intact. Remember, the nitrogen was down here. Right. That part's getting brittle. That part probably failed first because it was brittle. Oh, and at this point, it feels like a normal yep. bottle. It's, it's all right back to room temperature. It warms up very, very quickly. Not much mass here. <laughs> okay, well, it's not so. a football, but boy, that'll get things going <laughs> here. I hope that that kicks off your Super Bowl weekend. And just remember, it is Saturday. That means a Lucas County adult can bring a child and that child gets in free on Saturday for regular paid admission. Whew, Carl, you really <laughs> woke everybody up. Good morning, everyone. That's how you imagine it.